Today we are in Buckley and this is the scene of a parliamentary by-election that's happening at the moment. Now for Britain is standing in this by-election for good reason. We know what goes on in this town. We know what goes on in towns all over this country. There is a Muslim dominance here in Buckley. There's a Muslim dominance in many parts of this country. And it's ignored by the mainstream press, by the mainstream politicians. We are stepping in and stepping up to expose the truth about what happens in this town and other towns like it. This is Butley Grammar School, and it's in this school that a teacher made a mistake. He used a depiction of the Islamic prophet Muhammad in one of his lessons. He's been in hiding ever since. He's got good reason to be afraid, because a teacher in France who did something similar was beheaded for it. We know what happened in Charlie Hebdo in Paris. People are killed for this. They are killed because they are breaching the rules of Sharia law. Nobody stood up for this teacher. Unions didn't defend him, politicians didn't defend him, the press didn't defend him. He breached Sharia law. And in the UK today, you're on your own when you breach Sharia law. But not anymore. For Britain is absolutely determined to expose the realities of this. We have been fighting against the imposition of Sharia law in this country since our foundation and we will continue to fight it. We won't tiptoe around these issues. We are upfront and honest about it and we must be because the British people deserve honesty on these issues. Just look at the situation that we're in. A school teacher showed a picture. He didn't break any laws, didn't do anything immoral. He showed a picture and now his life is ruined. He will never be safe again. This is where we are. And our entire mainstream, the press, politicians, they just look the other way. It's like they pretend this isn't happening. They're not facing up to the reality of this at all. But in 21st century Britain, we are under the thumb of Sharia law. It's time to wake up to that. We must wake up to that. Not just wake up to it, but stop it, fight it, oppose it. But people don't. And they don't because they're afraid of being labeled racists or fascists. It's absurd. It's ludicrous. It's 21st century Britain. But what happened in this school is not the sole problem. It's just one example from a much wider, much more serious problem. And that problem is a cultural clash. A clash between the Muslim minority and the British majority. We are talking about vastly different cultural values. These cultural values are completely incompatible. A massive difference in attitudes towards women, towards homosexuals, towards Jews, towards freedom of speech, and towards authority in general. Much of the Muslim minority in this country does not respect our laws, our values, or our culture. And this is a widespread problem, and it's a problem that isn't going away, and it's a problem that isn't confined to Batley Grammar School. We have the imposition of halal meat across the public sector, and it doesn't matter if you object to that. Muslims always dominate in this area, but much more serious than that. And this happens in Batley and across this country. Serious crimes are being committed by Muslims and the police are looking the other way. These crimes include rape gangs, which continue with impunity all over Britain. And the police do nothing. The police do nothing because for decades, the Labour Party in particular has accused people of racism if they dare to stand up to this horror. It is not racist to object to the rape of young girls. It is not racist to object to unnecessary cruelty to animals. It is not racist to demand everyone have freedom of speech. It is not racist, and it has never been racist, to demand that we are all treated the same way and all subject 
to the same laws. So for Britain is very, very clear. We need one law for all in this country. We need the police to be accountable to the public. There is no accountability at present. We want our freedom of speech protected, not just in Parliament, but protected from Parliament. For Britain wants a written constitution for this country that guarantees equality for all people in the legal system, the judiciary, and we want our freedom. We want our freedom to speak. We want the press held to account. We want them to tell the truth about what happens in this country. We are tired of being smeared as racists and fascists merely for standing up for the decent British majority, for standing up for the truth and for standing up for justice. That's why we are here. That's why our party exists in the first place, because mainstream politics has betrayed us. Mainstream press has continued to lie and smear and cover up. There is no justice in this country today. For Britain is here to fight for that justice, to bring it back and to give this country back to its decent British majority. On the 1st of July, the people of Batley and Spen have a chance to make a real difference, to make history. The House of Commons is filled with yes men and yes women. They don't stand up. They don't make waves, cause controversy, tell it like it is. At some point, the people in this country are going to have to send an MP to the House of Commons that will stand up and demand action on these issues from our government. We have a chance to make real change here. We have a chance to turn the tide, to steer the ship of Britain back in the right direction. If you send me to the House of Commons on the 1st of July, I will be that MP that demands the government makes change, that demands the government confront the shocking injustices that are happening across our country. It is time to stop this now. It is time to send someone to the House of Commons who will make a real difference. On the 1st of July, if you send me to Parliament, I will be the person that makes the right decisions for Britain. I will be the person who fights for Britain.